Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some good time together remember that our videos is for the sake of education we are not here to do any mockery of anyone except lies and how some they try to make fun of a human being and to fool him just because he is not educated so the purpose of what we do is education and education only so people will not be fooled I'm not sure how many of you used to watch Scooby Scooby Doo. Scooby Scooby Doo is a cartoon. But, you know, this cartoon can be in trouble. If you remember, not long time ago, there's a sheikh. He said that Mickey Mouse should be killed. And why? Because uh, it's a mouse, it's the enemy of Allah. And Muhammad, he ordered his companions to kill all the dogs. And when people, they start complaining, especially at that time, you know, dogs is something very necessarily for life. It's not a fantasy or it's not a decoration. Like these days, you know, you can have a dog in your home for just for fun, for the kids maybe. Uh, or you need a company. Uh, but Muhammad, he ordered to kill the dogs. And obviously, in Islam, there is something very bad against dogs. In the beginning, Muhammad, he started saying that dogs are dirty, filthy. They call them in Arabic, najis. And as long as we don't like to say things without showing reference, so let us see some reference. <coughs> I heard the messenger of Allah raising his voice and commanding that dogs be killed. And dogs were killed, except for hunting dogs or dogs killed for hoarding livestock. In fact, he ordered to kill all dogs. But as we said later, when people they start complaining, he had to go easy or let us say easier in killing dogs but why muhammad he hate dogs very much and why he want to kill them i mean dogs are the best friend for mankind they protect you protect your children protect your livestock if you are like doing farming or you know if you're living in, in of a grid, if you live uh, in a village, I mean, they are they are really the only alarm system we have until we have what is called security cameras and so even even dogs they were not safe and secure from Muhammad and as I understand that dogs they can sense evil they have a special kind of sensation. So look like Muhammad, he could not find one dog he liked him, for the evil inside him is so strong. So wherever Muhammad he go, dogs, they go crazy against him. And obviously he hated them very much. And in the beginning when Muhammad, he killed, he ordered to kill all the dogs with no exception, as you see in the front of you on the screen. And then when people, they start complaining, saying, this is not fair, who is going to guard our animals? Who is going to guard our livestock? Then he added an exception or exempt, which is the hunting dogs and livestock protection. But things can go really far. And if I ask any of you how dogs are created, I don't know if we have any Muslim here. If there is any Muslim, feel free or our guest, and we will have, be happy to have you here. I remember please to speak to Muslim nicely. We are here not to, uh, you know, we are just here to educate Muslims and Christians, atheists, whoever is listening. If there is any Muslim can tell me how Allah created dogs. Do you have an idea? Any Muslim have an idea? I'm trying to get you closer to understand why Muhammad, he made dogs very evil. 
dogs are evil dogs should be killed dogs are dirty uh, dogs are filthy you know uh, touching dogs if you if actually Muhammad he said the one who have a dog in his house in his house Allah would decrease his deeds it's like you know he would take from your bank account So if you for every day, which means if you have a dog for a year, you are under you are bankrupt. In in the uh, let us say uh, the, the the bank of deed of Allah. <clears throat> As you see in the front of you. So for every day you have a dog in your home. Allah is cursing you, Allah, He will send you to hell literally. Because by time, if you have them for 10 days, you are, all, all the deeds you did, let us say you do jihad, you fight for the sake of Allah, you hate the Christians, you hate the Jews, you hate the Hindus, you hate etc., which is a requirement in Islam to be a Muslim. And this is all will increase your deeds for Allah. But then just for having a dog, having Scooby Scooby Doo. In your house, that destroy everything you did in your life. Why Muhammad he have too much hate? And then if we try to find out what Islam trying to make out of a dog, you will find that Islam is trying to poison our head against dogs. It's like dogs is the enemy of Islam. To the point the Muslims believe that dogs are created from the spit of Satan. Now many of you will say, come on, what is that? There is no way the Muslim will believe in that. They do. This is a hadith, and this is the reference here. Uh, the names of the books, they are in Arabic. We will mention one, you know, Biharul Anwar, Varian 11, page number 207. It says, From, 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 from Ali, from etc., that the Prophet said, Muhammad said, how Allah created, from what Allah created dogs or dog? He said, Muhammad, he said, he created him from the spit of Satan, of Iblis. Allah cursed him. They said to him how he did that. The messenger of Allah, he said, when uh, Allah, he sent down Adam and Eve, to the earth, he sent them as birds shaking, like, you know, when a bird, like, you know, uh, is cold or etc. So they are like bird and they are shaking. And then the filthy Iblis, which means Satan, Allah curse him. He ran to the lions and they were exist before Adam in the earth. And he said to them, hey, lions, there's two birds. They just fell down from the sky. Huh, you are they are so big you never saw a big bird like those come and which means you know come and eat them and then the lions they start chasing adam and eve like they start trying like you know, to go where he's pointing his finger there you keep going there keep going there and then iblis he keep encourage them and he scream on them uh, you know, and he's saying to them, it's, soon we will arrive, soon we will arrive. And then by the time he is screaming and talking loud, some of his spit, because of his speaking so fast, he spit, you know, because he's speaking so fast, like a spit came from his mouth. So Allah created from the spit of shaitan two dogs. One is a male and one is a female. 
and then Allah when he sent Adam and Eve uh, you know when Allah he sent Adam as you know you know this is one of the stories of Muslims Adam he don't he went down in India that's why the Muslim believe that he was in Sri Lanka and this is both believe Shia and Sunni they believe that Adam Allah sent him down to India so Adam you can say he's an Indian and that explain why Islam taking a lot of the from the Hindus and then Allah he sent Eve according to the story here in Jeddah which is not far from Mecca so look what happened I mean the wife and the husband one in the in India and Sri Lanka and the other one in Jeddah all right which very funny here because supposedly the lions are running to eat them so what they're learning to eat them where one in India and one in Jeddah okay so Allah created from the spit of shaitan Iblis two dogs one is male and one is female and then they stood around Adam and Eve the female dog she was in Jeddah and the male dog was in India and they did not let the lions to eat them since that day and since that day the dog is the enemy of the lion and the lion is the enemy of the dog hmm. so here what we see let us use first uh, Google translation because we are just reading in Arabic and I will post the link for you. This is the link. You can do the same. You can open it using Google Translation. Uh, just to be sure we are not, you know, this is not our website. This is Islamic website. 100%. And now we open it in Google Browser. If you want to use Google Translation, you have to use Google Browser. So you click at Google and the page and then you choose translate to English and you see the story which we mentioned to you already so dogs are created from the spit of Satan and actually this is very logical you know I mean think about it where dogs is created where dogs how dogs is created hmm if we say dogs are created like a human being, no, that's the, no, that's not right. You know, you're making dogs like you know. If we say dogs are created from zucchini, that's would be funny, you know. So, so we have to come to an scientific ideas and believe, and this is obviously it's a scientific. So, as you see here, when Shaitan he said, "Come, come on, come on, eat them," huh? the uh, the devil was urging them and yelling at them promising them that the space that the distance will be soon closer some of the spit of the dogs fell down this is the translation of your google as you know it's not really good so allah created two dogs from the spit of shaitan one is male and one is female the female allah he sent it to jeddah to hawa eve and here the female come in as the word bitch <laughs> in Jeddah and the male dog in India and they did not let the lions uh, close to them and from that day the dogs is the enemy of Adam uh, sorry they, they are the enemy of uh, lions and lions are the enemy of dogs so this is a very interesting story but here you see the roots of the fictions of Muhammad Muhammad teaching Muslims that dogs are evil dogs are ugly the dogs are filthy oh, uh, you know uh, if you if you uh, uh, if a dog he lick your dish you have to wash it seven time so there's a phobia from Muhammad toward dogs obviously and this phobia is scary You see, Muhammad had many phobia, but the phobia against dogs is really extreme, scary. If you have a Muslim around you, 
and he is religious, there's no way he will touch a dog. If he's not, he will not care, he will touch it, maybe he will have one at his home. And actually, there's many Muslims, they have dogs in their home. And having a dog in their home, obviously, this is mean they don't really care for Islam, unless they consider it a dog for guarding. Because Muhammad, he allowed them at the end to have a guardian dog. But the question to Muslims, why the dog is so filthy? Do we have any Muslim can tell us? If there is any, any, any Muslim can tell us about the dogs? If we go in the Quran, we will find a funny story, and obviously this is story here, the Muslim they understood it wrong. <clears throat> there is a story, it's called The Seven Sleepers. In The Seven, Sle Seven Sleepers, if you go to chapter 18, you will find there is supposedly a bunch of Christian youth who they run away for their life because the ruler want to kill them. And the Seven Sleepers story is a fiction story written by a man from Syria. He is a Christian. Uh, yeah, he is a bishop, actually. And he is uh, he was writing a fiction story for the youth about how discrimination against Christians will be uh, defeated you know i mean we will be victorious doesn't matter how much we disc be discriminated so kings want to kill us they want to stop christianity but always will be victorious muhammad he heard the story muhammad he took it he put it in the quran as usual muhammad you know we just showed you from in the other day how the quran says uh, muhammad is a person who hear and whatever he hear he believe anyone remember which verse let us see in the text if somebody can remind us. Which verse we mentioned to you just a few days ago? Muhammad, he is a hearer. Whatever he hear, he believe in it. And this is mentioned in the Quran. And here is another story about those youth who they uh, chased by a king to kill them. And because he, they are Christians, he want to kill them, that's the only reason. But you will notice here in the story that those youth who they are great believers, they have a dog with them. Do we have any Muhammadan here have something to say? How dogs are filthy, they are ugly, they are disgusting, and then uh, the dogs <clears throat> are a company great believers any Muslim can explain to us <clears throat> hmm? anyone Look like we don't have Muslims here. What happened? Where is the Muslims? Why we have only uh, 468? What happened? Where is everybody? Hmm. First, in the verse reading, there's no dogs. That because the Muslims, they got the word wrongly. You see, Muhammad is a copy paste person but that does not change the fact that he is at the end of the day is a copy paste so here the word where it says وكلبهم, this is because the writing obviously was not clear and the one who was inscribing the story 
he wrote it wrong it is wakali ahum and that was an angel not a dog but because the quran is a you know is a funny book have nothing to do with preservation the those who carry the book and they carry it by writing after muhammad long after muhammad the word kali ahum which mean the one who provide them which is an angel this is why you see it says here basit onzur idra'ihi he opened his two arms have you ever heard of a dog he have two arms in the translation here it says and the dog and their dog stretching forth his two forelegs since when the dog he have two forelegs how you say two for how you say two and you say four legs but in order to cover the stupidity and the mistake in the Quran that this is impossible to be a dog this is an angel who opened his arms to protect them in the front of the cave I mean a king an army of a king a dog will stop the army of a king you know what I mean what this dog is doing he is passed in his two arms to, to protect them since when a dog with two arms is exist and since when a dog opening his two arms will stop a king from killing them a king an army you know so uh, the story here have nothing to do with dogs and that explain why in the Quran here by mistake uh, it's mentioning the word dog if you translate uh, change the translation you know change the translator you will see that things get even funnier you know with the translation every translation he give you a different story and then it says they were asleep and we caused them to turn uh, uh, over for the right and the left and their dog is stretching out his bows but, but in Arabic it says his two arms two arms you know you can do this you can copy exactly the same words I'm copying for you in the screen and you can take it to Google translation let us go open Google translation and you know Google translation translate words not I mean it's, it's, it's a software will not take a site <clears throat> All right, so this is Google Translation. Let us put it for you on the screen. And then we go back to the verse and we will copy in front, in front of your eyes the verse. Okay, copy. And then we go to Google Translate. And then we, we, we paste. Uh, Arabic all right do you see it he extended his arms actually his two arms translation here is not accurate dogs don't have two arms they don't they have four legs so the quran really never mentioned the good the the, the dogs in a, in a in something good however in different story we find that Allah himself he have a dog anyone remember where anyone remember uh, Ruqiyah she is saying Ruqiyah you have to follow the last messenger but you know the the last messenger he ordered to follow us not to what not us to follow him <laughs> and you see you see Raqiyah, you don't know your religion you're a prophet himself he been taught by Allah to follow Christian Prince and before him Paul and Peter and Mark and Luke obviously you are ignorant in your religion isn't it your prophet that his God, when he was suspecting himself to be a prophet? Allah told him, go and ask the Christians. Hmm? Chapter 
10194 so first of all your profit is not a profit because I will give you 10,000 years to show me a prophecy of your prophet because if you show me one we'll be laughing and Muhammad himself Allah told him to go and ask the Christians to tell him if he is a he's a he's a prophet or not and you know the answer and this is actually proof that when Muslim they say our book is corrupted that's a lie because how Allah is asking us to witness for Muhammad if he is a prophet or not yet we don't have a book and we are not decent how Muhammad been ordered to ask the Christians and the Jews yet the Christians and the Jews are lost themselves are you going to ask a loser are you going to ask somebody he been deceived and he is not following the true religion or true God so when Allah he asked Muhammad to ask the Christians obviously this is a proof that Muhammad he knew that the Christians stand the truth and he made the verse in the Quran trying to make himself appealing to us saying you know what I need your approval but as you know we will not approve such a man now we go back to the topic in different verse in the Quran if you remember the chapter of the star <clears throat> the chapter of a Najm when Najmu Ida Hawa this verse actually is alone is enough proof that Muhammad is a fraud because stars don't fail unless you are talking about a shooting star but here the word that says the star the Najm not a shooting star not a meteor so when they saw a star you know according to Muhammad failing down Muhammad he said that Allah told him to say that Allah he swear by the star and the Arab they were laughing at Muhammad saying this guy is obviously mentally ill and he is a liar so Muhammad he says Allah he swear by the star saying that I am not lost and I am not making things up but when he said that his cousin was there and he said I will not believe in the God of the star then Muhammad he said to him aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you Let us go and read the interpretation. Who? The God have a dog? Yes. So in chapter uh, in chapter 53, verse number one, we will go to the interpretation. <clears throat> I don't know if you will find it in English, but we will give it a try. Let us see the book of Asbab al Nuzul. <coughs> oh, we could not find. Okay. Um, it's not in English. But we can find something else. Give me a second. All right. Hmm. All right. So read with me carefully. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. From his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. That he said regarding the interpretation of Allah saying by him, by the Najm when he's teeth. By the Najm when he's teeth, he says, Allah swear by the Quran when Jibreel takes it down to Muhammad. But the funny, I mean, Allah swearing by the star, not by the Quran. And then he says, uh, There was a 20 years interval between the first and the last verse. There were, when this verse was revealed, uh, Utbah ibn Abu Lahab heard the Prophet 
PBUH, this is a chemical thing in Islam. So by the revelation of the Quran in Islamment, and he said, Tell Muhammad that I disbelieve in the I disbelieve in the Quran. And then the Prophet was informed of his of this. He prayed to Allah to set him one of your wild beast. You see here the first translation. In Arabic, it says his dog, his dog, not a beast. So anyway, Allah, he sent his dog and he ate this person who did not believe in, 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 uh, in, uh, in uh, the God of the, the star. We changed to, to see the Tafsir al -Jalal. Let us see Ibn Kathir, because here we did not find really too much information. Let us see to Ibn Kathir. All right. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English is far away from Ibn Kathir in Arabic, just to let you know. So don't let them fool you. All right. See, it's gone. Where is the dog story? Hmm. Let us see the Arabic. Always we have to go to the Arabic so we can get them busted. All right. Uh, this official government website of Saudi Arabia not working. Let us see this one. All right. As long as the government of Saudi Arabia website, I prefer the government of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, for some reason, the tafsir is not coming, you know, I click in it, it's not showing. So we will do this. Let us go to a different website. No problem. <clears throat> All right. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. So it's just still official. Here you will see it says that when the cousin of Muhammad, he said to him, I don't believe in the God of the star. Muhammad, he said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah, he will send, he will unleash his dog in you? And he eat you? Let us see the English translation and to show you why Muslims don't translate those things to us in Arabic, in English. Translate, let us see, translate, or oh, we have to go out of the page maybe. Translate to English. Hmm. Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? <laughs> so here we find many, many crazy things in this religion. In one hand, dogs is created from the spit of shaitan. Dogs are dirty. Dogs are filthy. Uh, if you if a dog he lick uh, your dish, you have to wash it seven times. If you have a dog in your house, Allah will you know curse you. Allah will be upset from you. And then we find that Allah Himself have a dog. And then Allah He sent His dog and He ate this person. Later, it's a miracle. Be aware that the dog of Allah will eat you, man. Okay? Don't you fear the dog of Allah? Allah will bring your dog over you? Huh? And then this person, he went in a trip to Yemen. And then Allah, he sent him his dog. But his dog have a voice of a lion. <laughs> He's a dog, but he have a sound of a lion. <laughs> anyway. So... When we talk about Islam and we talk about Scooby Scooby Doo, we find that any cartoon in the world make more sense than any story Muhammad he come with. Any cartoon you watch of Scooby Scooby Doo make way more sense from what Islam is teaching.
uh, you know Ruqayya <clears throat> I don't know if Ruqayya is a real person or she is just a fraud look what Ruqayya she said smile Ruqayya I will take a selfie for you you know they, they cannot answer our topic so they try to change the topic but we will give you a break Ruqayya just to get you busted Ruqayya she said you are a supporter of killer Israel and Zionist <laughs> but Catholic and Orthodox Church says church is in you is in you Israel you idiot Jews hate your Jesus <laughs> well Ruqayya let me tell you the bad news don't you know that all the disciples of Jesus they were Jews so Jews they love Jesus actually the majority of them they became a Christian already secondly you idiot as long as Israel is bad so why Allah he says he favored them upon mankind this is your Quran saying that the Jews are the best of mankind hmm Read and love. Is that your Quran? Look how many times your God, he said that the Jews are the best of mankind. Chapter 2, verse number 40. O children of Israel, remember my favor, wherewith I favor you. False translation, by the way. It doesn't say only I favor you. Let us go to different uh, verse just to make it more clear. He favored them upon, uh, upon who? Upon all mankind. Chapter 2, verse 47. O children of Israel, remember my favor. Where with you I favored you and how I preferred you to all creatures. So Allah was a Zionist. Allah is Zionist. You see it? <clears throat> That's the truth. And all over the Quran, Muhammad, he keeps saying the same thing. Now the guy who have a di uh, the, uh, the, uh, diarrhea, he keeps saying, Kafir, you idiot. Do you know what Kafir means? I can show you a verse from the Quran saying Muslims are Kafir. Stupid. Get out of here. Let your dad talk to me. <clears throat> so, when you Muslims speak against the Jews, obviously you do not know anything about your religion. Because Muhammad was a Jewish agent. He was their puppy. But when the Jews, they get rid of him, Muhammad, he turned on them with his sharp teeth. Otherwise, the Quran all over saying the Jews are the favorite of all mankind to Allah. Chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. Question, why Allah, how Allah he favored the Jews? Are they better than Abraham? According to the Quran, yes. Mm -hmm. Are they better than Noah? According to the Quran, yes. The verse in the front of you. Are they better than the Arab? And I am an Arab. According to the Quran, yes. And the Quran in front of you. Now, if you are going to say to me the Quran is a weak book, we understand. Quran is weak, Muhammad is weak, Islam is weak, and you are weak too. Hmm? Why Jewish Talmud? What Jewish Talmud? We don't believe in Talmud anyway. So, you know, the, the, look, look, just to show you how silly, you, you know, when the Muslim they say stuff. Talmud or not Talmud? Don't Allah knew that the Jews have Talmud? Ask your Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Talmud is a book written by a rabbi, you idiot. Don't be silly. What Talmud? Talmud is not even a holy book, even for the Jews. So you are a silly person. And now you are trying to divert the topic because you don't want to talk about the dogs. It's very, very embarrassing. This is always when you see a Muslims. If you go right now after we finish this uh, broadcast and you look at the comment, from Muslims, you will not find of them. One of them is telling us why the dogs are dirty. 
You want to send me the dogs, their tongue is bad. So why they are in the cave with the believers? Why Allah even he put the word dog in the Quran, if it is the word dog? Why Allah created dogs to create Adam and to protect Adam and Eve, as the story we just showed you? And how in the world there is a prophet of God, he order you to kill dogs? For the benefit of who? This is obviously a mental illness problem. A phobia from dog, he hate them, he decide to kill them. Otherwise, tell me, what is the reason? There is no reason. Muhammad, he went far with his madness against dogs, and he claimed even a dog who is black because he's racist, he's, a, he's the devil. Any Muslim really can explain to us how the black dog is the devil? Just because he's black? Today we spoke about how Allah created dogs and what we learned, who remember? Where Allah created dogs from? Or what, what from he created the dogs? Anyone remember from what? You see, because the Muslims, they try to take us away from our topic, so we we'll talk about different things, so people will not laugh at Muhammad. This is the whole story. So what we learn, guys? Dogs are created from what? According to Muhammad and his followers. And his God. I know it take, it take time for you to receive my voice. From the spit of Satan. From the spit of Satan. You know, Ruqiyya, I will give you a warning. If you speak against the topic, anything you say against the topic, when we talk about the Jews, you can talk about the Jews, no problem. We are talking about the dog. Anything you say out of the topic, I will, I will, I will block you. This is a warning for you. Last warning. Because we knew the game, you know. Muslims, they don't want to talk about something embarrassing. Who is a Muslim want to explain to us why the black dog is a devil? Embarrassing. So what they do? They want to talk about the Jews. They want to talk about Trump. They want to talk about uh, Monica Lewinsky. They want to talk about everybody except the story, except what we show in the screen. For what we are showing is embarrassing. That is what Muslims they do. Why dog is created from the spit of Satan? What Allah was out of material at that time? Home Depot was closed? From the spit of Shaitan? Well, I thought the spit of Shaitan is dirty. So what Allah he did? Because isn't it Allah he says we created everything by our hands? So Allah he hold the spit of Shaitan by his hands? His Shaitan is a spit. <laughs> This remind me of the guy, his name is Mimi, you know, you know, so I'm God now, you know, I'm God. Any Muhammadan? Well, today we spoke about how Allah created dogs. Tomorrow we will talk about, as long as we spoke about dogs, tomorrow we'll talk about how Allah created cats. Today we showed you reference from Shia books and Sunni books. Tomorrow, we will do the same. How Allah created the cats. Actually, let me, as if I am speaking now to you. Uh, create that event. Okay. Uh, this picture is good. I will use it for the the thing. How Allah created the cats. Even the cat herself, actually, she is really surprised about the story, you know? I mean, the first time I remember I told this story to a cat, she went crazy. She said, you must be kidding, right? I said, no, this is true.
All right. Now let us see what time we will do it tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> we will do it tomorrow, like morning my time, but not very early. So people they can be uh, wake up in the USA and same time people who they are in Asia they can still join us. So let us see tomorrow. Um, we will do it. <clears throat> at 10 p.m. <clears throat> uh, 10 15 sorry 10 15 a.m. in the morning tomorrow New York time all right so the topic tomorrow how Allah created the cats and you will be astonished with the with the with, with how Allah he did that it's amazing only in Islam you can find such stories. And all of it, it's very much scientifically accurate. I mean, nobody, none of you can deny it, right? <clears throat> James Tyler, you want to call? Call about what? Uh, we are done for today anyway. Uh, you know, some of you says there's a, somebody have a question about the Bible. Okay, I will give five minutes. If anyone have a question about the New Testament, about Christianity, feel free. Uncle Rokas, he is saying, use Quran, not fabricated hadith. Well, I don't know how to do that, my friend, but isn't it the Quran is a hadith itself? Isn't it the Quran says that the Quran is a hadith? And isn't it the Quran transmitted in the same way to you by he said she said so what do you mean Quran okay I will use Quran I will use Quran let us go to the Quran and love together shall we here we go just toward it. and now what he will say he will say uh, you know this is a fabricated Quran <laughs> so let us go to the Quran Now he will say, I don't like the Quran. What do you think about the story of General Hudhud? The general who is in charge of the army of the birds in the Quran. Where is the guy who like Quran only? Is this a story too? Is it fabricated? That Suleiman, he have an army from chickens, an army from genie, and army from a human. <clears throat> hmm? uh, James, you are saying he was thinking to convert to Christianity, but he stumbled because there is a, a verse speaking about violent. Why it's violent for you? Those people who lived thousands of years ago, they are living in a world of violence. So what is new? And here I, I smell a hypocrisy. Because if you are a person who is against violence, then why you justify violence yourself? Are you, are you a hippie who don't believe in a police and army? Are you a hippie who believe everybody should sleep with everybody? So people, they say stupid things and they claim, I was going to convert to Christianity, but you know what? This is, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is violence. Yeah? <laughs> the Bible says those who live by the sword, by the sword shall die. So God himself, he made an order that criminals should be killed. 
So if you are against the criminals to be killed, well, you are a criminal, obviously, and you are afraid to be killed. And yet you claim that this is violence. So I smell that you are a fishy person who is making a statement, but you don't believe in what you are saying. And I believe strongly you believe in violence yourself, but you justify it when you want. Uh, ankle, why you change the topic? Here we go, guys. Isn't it this is the same guy who just said to me, show me from the Quran. Now we show him from the Quran. He said, can you answer my question about Jesus? <laughs> Aren't you the one who said to me, show me from the Quran, a verse, not from the Hadith? Why you skip? Do you really believe that Suleiman, he have an army of chickens? And he have a general, his name is Hudhud. And one day he found him missing. And Hudhud was looking for a woman, she have no hair in her legs. And now we want to talk about Jesus. <laughs> as I told you anytime you mention to them something embarrassing they, sk they, they, they skip they go to the Old Testament they go to the New Testament they go to Jesus they go to uh, Trump they go to uh, you know they, they will talk about anything except the topic because it's embarrassing can you answer me about Jesus the title of my video is how Allah created the dog the question is, can you answer me about Jesus? <laughs> you know, I don't know what those people they eat, but obviously they are not eating a healthy food. Who is a Muslim here? He believed that Suleiman, he used to have an army of a chicken. You see, we will keep it in the, in the farming business, dog. Hood, hood, bird, chicken, huh? And, you know, ants. Even the ant. Even when Suleiman he arrived to the to the value of ants, one of the ants she said, "Hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you." What is driving me crazy? How the ant she knew his name. And the ant she heard his speech. Sorry, uh, Suleiman he heard her speech. He heard her speech. Solomon, he heard the speech of the ant. As I know that ants are deaf and they are mute. They do vibration or chemical, which means, yeah, they talk, but this is their talk. It's not by voice. Vibration, they can feel it. They cannot hear it. So Suleiman, he heard her speech and he laughed at her speech. And she said to the ant, hide otherwise Solomon will crush you. You know what? In the other day, I remember uh, yeah, there was an ant and she was like uh, <clears throat> looking at me. I said to myself, man, she was for now, for sure. She is saying to the other ants, hide otherwise a Christian prince will crush you. Hmm? Uh, Rukhaya, get out of here. You have an obsession with the Jews. Obviously, you used to have a boyfriend. He's a Jew and he left you. We talk about everything. She talk about the Jews. You want to talk to the Jews? Go to the Jews. You are mentally ill. Phobia people. I think when you sleep, you dream about, uh, uh, about uh, uh, your birthday. You see a Jew. You know, those people, they cannot live without attacking the Jews. Look what our topic. My name is a Christian prince, and they are keep attacking the Jews. I mean, I mean, can you can you believe how how funny they are? Christian prince, the Jews. Do you know what the Jews is a Christian prince? I'm not a Jew. Go go talk to the Jews, man. No problem. Do you know the the Jews Christian prince? What's wrong with you? I just showed you the Quran says Allah He favored them. Not only that, Allah He ordered Musa to kill all the Palestinians. Do you believe it? Allah, he ordered the Jews to kill all the Palestinians, yes, brother. And because they refused to kill the Palestinians, Allah, he forbid them to enter the Holy Land for 40 years. And when Allah, he mentioned the word holy, he mentioned it only once. Only. Do you know where? Jerusalem. Not Mecca. And this is your Quran. 
Oh my people, enter the holy land and slaughter every Palestinian. The Jews, they refuse. Allah, he got angry from them. Only two people, they join, they join ISIS of Moshe. Moshe at that time, he have ISIS, he was doing jihad. So Moshe, he told them, let us do jihad, Allahu Akbar. The Jews, they said to him, no, there is people there. We will not go there until they leave. Huh? We don't want to go in war. Only two, only two, they said to Moshe, let us go and attack the gate. Only two of the whole Jews. They want to do jihad. So ISIS was Osama, Osama, uh, uh, Musa was uh, uh, Osama bin Laden. And one of the Jews, his name is uh, uh, Jack Shalom. He is a Zarqawi. And the other one is Jack uh, uh, Walom, you know, and he was uh, al-Baghdadi. They met together and they said, let us attack uh, the Palestinian. And then because they refused, Allah, he said to them, they will never... You will never, those Jews will never enter the Holy Land for 40 years. Uncle Rokos, I'm scared to answer your question. What is your question? You did not give me the question. <laughs> and don't talk about chicken. Guys, I warn Muslims, anything you say to me, I can use against you. What if I show you that Allah, he ride a chicken? Right now, who will accept the challenge? Have you ever heard of a god he ride in the top of a rooster? I mean, a cowboy he ride a horse. A prophet he ride a donkey. A god he ride a rooster? Okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and look, look what he is saying to me. Look what this guy is saying to me. Answer my question, you retarded Arab camel. What your prophet is an Arab? <laughs> Get out of here, faith racist. And you and you worship him. Get out of here, coward. Coward or racist. If the Arab are a bunch of camels, so why you you bow down to Muhammad five times a day? Because you are a coward, right? Anyway, uh, <clears throat> going back to Scooby Scooby Doo, as you see, Scooby Scooby Doo is a victim of hate crime established by Muhammad. He will be loved by kids. But when they grow, if they are Muslims and they learn about dogs are filthy, they are dirty, they are disgusting. And now be my witness how many comments we will see in the chat and in the in the comment section about dogs. Their tongue is very filthy, full of germs and bacteria. Do you know how many germs and bacteria is in your tongue too? Do you know that your tongue is more dirty than your toilet seat? Do you know that cats are more dangerous and they're saliva is way more dangerous than any animal but yet muslims you have no problem with cats even the favorite companion of muhammad <laughs> you muslim keep citing what he say his name is abu huraira the father of the cats the bite of a cat is the most dangerous bite let us Use some science which is against Allah. <clears throat> All right. We just search in Google. Compare dogs and cat bites. August 13, 2009. Well, it doesn't matter. This is science anyway. So which one is more ugly? The cat bite or the dog's bite? Now, literally speaking, right away, you would say the dogs, man. Come on, because they have big teeth. Yes, their teeth is bigger and they can damage the flesh. 
way more. But the kite, the cat can cause a very harmful infection. And the bite of a cat can be the most nasty. Way more than dogs. <clears throat> so if your excuse is that the tongue of cats, the dogs, is full of bacteria, well, all animals are full of bacteria, and human beings is too. And cats, by science, is way more nasty with their bacteria. And cats, they have very sharp teeth, yet yeah, they are small, right? But it's enough to cause a very harmful infection. You might even lose your arm. So why this animity against dogs? They are saying here that a cat who is maybe the bite appear to be minor for you because it's a small bite. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a cat, like, hello. But it can be a major. And it can be causing a serious problem. Way more than the bite of a dog. Somebody saying I am a pagan. Well, you can say that. No problem. Don't forget to go and shake your head in the front of a stone. Do we have any any Muslim have anything to say? <clears throat> Anyone? So if you excuse that dogs are dirty, this is not an excuse. Uh, all creatures are dirty. A human is the most dirty creature ever. You are dirty in your mind. You are dirty in your act, and you are dirty in your in in you know in your body, and you are dirty in every way. And the funny that Muslims they used to fight over the the the, the piss of Muhammad, even his urine. So, if a dog he touched you with his tongue, he is filthy. But you drink the piss of a man? Very weird. All right. So anyway, I think we we cover today the topic. Tomorrow we will be early morning, not early morning. I mean, uh, I made it late, a little bit late, so people they can be join us from different countries in the world, and we will talk about how Allah created the cats. So until we see you tomorrow. How many of you like cats? You like cats? Mm. Tomorrow, you will you will learn how Allah He created the cats. I mean, no, even the cat, look at the cat herself. She is looking, like, look at this. She was surprised, like, what? Tomorrow you will tell me how Allah create, created me, Mio? So, Mrs. Mio, tomorrow she will be joining us to listen about how Allah created her and her grand, grand, grandparents, like the grandparents' cat. And look at her like she was like cannot wait you know like oh, i want to hear it <laughs> what are you going to tell me so the dog he <laughs> she's saying to herself now the dog is created from the spit of satan i know it i know it i know it the cat is saying that i know it i know it from the beginning i know it that dog is created from the spit of satan i know it why i'm not surprised she's not surprised the cat is not surprised hmm? but tomorrow we will find out where allah created the cat from so until we see you tomorrow guys I want to say thank you very much and Muslim don't forget to make a comment I have nothing to do with the topic as usual because you are the best people ever who comment about things is not even what we are talking about because you don't dare to talk about the topic for its embarrassment thank you God bless you all we love the Muslims but 
we don't support lies and fabrication and fictions and stupidity so we try our best to help them to see the truth and the truth will set them free the truth my friend will set you free that is the word of my lord he is the truth he is the only truth and the rest is a fraud thank you god bless you and until we see you soon again christ is lord islam is false and god bless